Hello and welcome to my uh, third video on the Q7 uh, sunroof issues and uh, drain plugs. Uh, what I want to show you today is how to replace the stock drain plugs that are at the end of the tube um, with a simple method that uh, you can um, do yourself at home and you don't have to spend a fortune to, at the Audi dealer. Um, what I've done is I did some research and I bought some polymorph from um, eBay. And you can see that it comes in these little um, pellets, and I bought uh, 500 grams for around um, 8 quid. Um, like I said, I'm just going to guide you through this real quick and uh, how to do this. And then I'm going to show you later on in the video how I'm going to install it on the Q7. Again, this is the old one, and she's going to zoom in real quick. Can you zoom in? And this is where the tube goes in. And when the tube is in, this resides on the outside, and that's where the water was dripping from. So I took these out, and uh, I already made one just to show you what they look like. And this is what um, is going to be a finished product. And you can see it's basically the same thing, uh, but this will this part will go inside the tube. Make believe this is the tube. will go inside the tube, and uh, I'm going to use a zip tie to hold it so the water will not come out. It will just go straight down. Again, the polymorph is uh, real good to use and it hardens up to you can see to a real hard plastic and is unbreakable and lasts forever and all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you is uh, take two scoops and this is very hot water so you need to be very careful one two and now if you stir it a little bit everything will come together and it will form like a plastic and I wouldn't use your hands because the water is hot so I got these um, these tongues here from a solid and I'm just going to take it out see it's all together drain all the water out and now you can see it's all plastic and if you mesh it together as you can see you just work it until it pretty much comes to be a clear coat and that's it that's and once this hardens up it will become a real hard plastic and what I've done beforehand is I created a little tool here that it's actually the same uh, width as the ball that's on the sunroof and this is like I said this is the original tool if you see the ball there fits right in there perfectly so when you make your, your, your tool here it fits in there perfectly on the sunroof okay so but the only thing is with this stuff you gotta work it real quick or it gets hard and if it does get hard all you do is roll it out roll it out a little bit okay, and put it back in the hot water and give it a couple of seconds and it'll get soft again and that's the beauty of this because you can really work it and not have to worry about it so here we go again remember the hot water is hot so now I'm just going to make it into a square. I'm going to do it real quick, and then you can spend more time on doing it. Like I said, I've already created three of these, so I'm just going to do one real quick to show you how to make them. And just mesh it in, and I'm going to use the roller to even it out, not so it won't be too thick. And that's my son in the background. Can't keep him quiet. But that's okay. See it? Rolled it out. Pretty much like this, but you see how it's already starting to get hard. So you just put it back in the water again. A few minutes. A few seconds, really. And it should be soft again. So I'm going to roll this end here. Just to get a little bit thinner, because you don't want it too thick. You want to get a nice hole there in the middle. So the water drains as much as possible. Okay. So now what I use is I'm going to use a shopping marker, and I'm going to start rolling it from here. Roll it and squeeze, so you get that nice tube feel to it. And at the same time, using his finger just so it doesn't compress down, and just rolling it, as you can see. And 
pretty much got the shape of it a little bit. Okay, but you can see now if I take the pen this way and just roll it through just so you get the complete hole there in the middle. And you can see it's pretty much just that. So now I just put it in the water and you have to work it and play with it to get the shape that you want. As you can see, now you can sculpt it. And now, what I do, that I found real easy to do, to work with, is if you put the choppy this way, and then I take this, and now I can stop forming that circle in there, where it's, uh, you got a nice, firm fit. Again, so you want to work it, and you don't want to make it too thin, because you don't want it to, to break, so... As you can see, it's already starting to take form. And then, once it starts drying up, you can gradually just pull this out nice and easy. Again, I'm going to put it in the water a little bit more. And after a while, the water gets cold, so it's not as boiling as it was before. So now, I get my finger in there. You get a nice hole in there. And form it and you want to make this a little bit thin because the tube in the car is not that thick so you want to be able to get the thickness here to go inside the tube so kind of work it up and I put that ball in there so I don't want to lose the, the form and the shape inside and this is great stuff because you know you can form it and if it gets hard you can just put it back in the boiling water and you get the shape back again to shape it. You see? As you can see, the hole in there. So now if I put this in, and it's, because it's still soft, it's, you still manage to move it around. And don't worry about the axis, because once it's hard, you can trim this axis off of it without any problem whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the water a little bit more, because I'd like to bend it in a little bit more. Like I said, I've created, see I've created three of these already and these are pretty much the same and like I said, this fits perfectly in the factory one and here's the ones I've fabricated and fits in there perfectly. So, and you won't get any water leaks. You see? There you go. These are going to replace the four that are in the car. This one I still have to trim a little bit because it is a little bit too long. As you can see, it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to trim it. But it fits in there perfectly. You got a nice tight fit and it won't come out. Okay, I'll lift this a little bit. Okay, so it is soft. And now, just trim it in there nice. And because this is still too thick, I have to form this a little bit thinner because it won't fit inside the tube. So you have to, like, work it, just work it. I mean, what you do is you'll get your style how to do it, and maybe you can find a better way to do it. But I'm just doing this video as an example to show you that, you know, it's not that expensive to fix it. Like I said, again, I bought it on, on eBay for 500 grams. For about eight pounds with polymorphin and you can do some research on it and uh, it's great stuff the kids are having a ball with it and you can see that it's already hardening up and i'm probably gonna have to put it in the water some more because it's getting a little bit too hard Like I said, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stop the video and I'm going to finish this one off. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how it's going to go on in the car. 
So let me finish this off because I gotta boil some hot water because this water is now cold. And um, and uh, I'm gonna need some hot more hot water because like you said, see it? It's already getting hard. So I gotta put it in there and just trim it down a little bit and make it the right way. So um, again, I'll show you, come back in a little bit. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm back now. And uh, as you can see, um, there's the other two. I already put the other two inside the tubes. And if I'm going to uh, zoom in here. You see the little ball there? And like I said, here's the old ones. These are the old ones I used to snap right on there. And now the ones that I've created, and just run the tube up real here real quick. And you can see, fits in there. It'll fit in there. Perfect. Now, the tube is in the outside. It will never leak. It will always come down the tube. It's nice and secure. And what I'm going to do is, after I finish the other four, I just put some silicone around here, just in case you never know the water backs. I'm going to put some silicone around here. And before I do that, I'm just going to take this out. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, just to make sure it stays in, in place. Is, uh, I'm going to put a tie wrap right on here, just to give it a nice, secure... Nice secure finish, and it'll never slide out. And you can see I got about a uh, half inch here on the tube. Now I give it a nice tight squeeze here. There we go, get a nice tight firm fix there. And I just cut the axis off. Go the side, so we get a nice tight fit there. And again, right in there, perfect. You get a perfect fit there. Okay. So again, thank you for uh, watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you um, fix your Audi like I have done, and it saved me a fortune from going to the dealer and uh, having them um, do it. Again. Yeah. The, uh, if you've got any questions, just email me at uh, cmg.video.hotmail.co.uk. Again, thanks for watching my video. Cheers. Okay, and now for the final stage. As you can see, it is complete. Um, what I've done is I've wrapped it around with some sealant tape which is this um, and it cures itself uh, waterproof tape just to be on the safe side now I'm going to show you all the way around so here's this one in the back now here's this one and you can see it's all nice and tight you should not any uh, water and now let's go to the front show you how I did the front okay here is Let's see if I can get there and show you where the front is. Okay, here is, where is it? Here's the front again. Uh, this might be zooming too fast and you can see it's nice and tight right here. Nice and tight right around here. It should not leak ever again. Let's hope not. And now I'm going to shoot over to the other side. As you can see, this side is also complete. Nice and tight. Should not be a problem from now on. Okay, and that concludes uh, the video. Now the other thing is, just put everything back to normal. Uh, all the panels, the roof liner, and we should be good to go. And stay tuned for a couple other videos that I'm going to do. But uh, this concludes the last video.